Hello people YouTube, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to a little video on <clears throat> the shoes that I, I got last year. I think I bought these um, tail end of uh, January, uh, January, tail end of November. <clears throat> but uh, these are basically um, the Mavic Comet Ultimate 2s. These are a really expensive uh, shoe. Um, basically the carbon fibre exoskeleton and I'll take these out these are the uh, these are the the booties that you get um, these actually fit inside the shoe um, and they're just like little well, kind of they're almost like slippers very lightweight um, and this is the the exoskeleton that you do get with the shoe uh, as you can see there, it's all carbon fibre. Extremely stiff. Now, the reason that I got these shoes, there was a couple of shoes, in fact, you see this one here, I've actually got my Wahoo cadence sensor between. There's a little bit of a gap there between the, the two prongs. Um, I actually contacted Mavic. Mavic said not to put that on there. But I'll get into the reason why I contacted Mavic. Um, but these shoes have got an extremely low stack height. Uh, I do have SPD pedals. These are actually the covers that come. You can actually buy these. They're just a, a quick cover. If you're ever going to walk, not that you'd really want to walk distance, but if you want to walk, these are really good. So I've got the yellow SPD cleats. Um... If I went with the, the speed play pedals, I would have a lower stack height. Which I don't know, that's something maybe for the future, but at the moment, I've got these. Uh, but yeah, it's a carbon construction. Uh, these are actually handmade. Uh, these shoes, really expensive. Now when I bought, the, the shoe criteria that, that I did have was one that had these uh, dials, dial, uh, dial fasteners. These are the Ergo dial, the Mavic. Kind of, I mean, you, you could call them BOA dials. I suppose BOA, I think, are a, a registered trademark. But basically, that's what you get. You get a, a, a carbon exoskeleton shoe. Uh, extremely lightweight. I mean, super rigid. Uh, good for power transfer. I mean, these shoes are probably more than what I really need. If I'm, if I'm brutally honest. Um, but when I was getting shoes, it was really a combination of a lot of things. Uh, I had a, pr a, a, a price point. My price point was anywhere between like 100 and £250 for a pair of shoes. Now, I tend to go long term with stuff. So I don't look like... I do look into the future, but I look at it like, like a couple of years into the future. And I'd rather buy shoes that are going to last me, you know, that amount of time. And not like buy a substandard pair of shoes and then end up saying, you know what, I wish I'd just bought, you know, those those dearer shoes that would have lasted me. But uh, again, that's just, that's my kind of criteria. So I was looking at the... Alternatives I had, uh, City Shots were shoes that I was probably going to go with. They were on sale. I think they were down to 240 or something. But I think they were actually dearer than that. But you were getting a good price in the, the, the City Shot. I think it's the City Shot wires that I was looking at. Um, physique. I don't know about Physique. Uh, you can see the carbon there. The physique shoes I thought were a little bit, I don't know, I just thought they were a bit mm, iffy. I, I just think they looked a bit too fashiony kind of type of shoe. Uh, there was other ones as well, there was a couple others like Specialised, there was some other shoes. But I went on to uh, Sigma, Sigma Sports, and these were, <laughs> I'm, I'm actually quite ashamed even like the, the sale price of these shoes, um, they were 
the original Mavic, I don't know if it's pronounced Comete, Co- Comet, maybe. The original of these shoes were a thousand pounds. Um, these are the updated versions. These are the the Mavic Comet Ultimate Twos, and these retail. <laughs> I hope you're sitting down for this. These retail for I think it's six hundred and fifty pounds. I think there's euros. I think I've seen them at seven hundred euros, but they're six hundred and fifty odd pounds for these shoes. I got these on sale, and they were fifty percent off. So they were <laughs> they were still three hundred and fifteen pounds. That's UK money. Um, I mean, just really expensive. But what I will say is, um. You know, the, the, the power transfer on these shoes is just phenomenal. Um, I noticed a big difference. I actually went back to my Shimano shoes and the difference just in power transfer alone, uh, it, was, it was so noticeable. So, yeah, I want a shoe for the money, but are they worth it? I think for, for £315, pounds, you're getting a shoe that is really, like, technologically, it's, it's really, like... It's it's really beyond what a lot of shoes have. Um, you know, for me, aesthetics, I just like the look of them. I think they're pretty unique. I mean, obviously, carbon's good. You know, carbon's a nice material. It's nice to look at in the sun. Uh, just the design element of these shoes is just really nice. You know, it's... They're, they're just a nice shoe, basically. Um... And as I say, these are the, the booties that you get. They're just like little slippers. Um, you know, they've got this kind of mesh fabric. You've got a bit of padding there for the... When you're, you've you got the straps here. It just cushions your foot. Um, but yeah, just a really nice shoe. Um, but I've, I've had them for a couple of months now. And they're just absolutely amazing. Um, just for cycling, as I say, just... You really do feel connected to the bike because you really don't have a lot of, um, you don't really have a lot of meat between you, between your the bottom of your foot and the bike. So you, your your transfer, you just feel the road, um, you feel the surface, and as I say, power transfer is just really so good. Um, just a really good shoe, and that's what's like with the the booty and the booty. Um, but just a really nice looking shoe. Probably you can see there the carbon. I think these will look nice with some kind of like gloss. I think you can get like an epoxy resin type thing that you could put on, which I think would be really quite nice. But just a really fascinating shoe. And as I say, for the money, you know, what you're paying for <laughs> is a lot of money, but it's a lot of shoe for that money as well. Uh but I did have a problem, and I don't know if you can see in the camera, if I can maybe get it, it's a bit hard to point out. Just up here, just from this point to that point here. I don't know if I'll go this side because you can see. You both see a little bit of discoloration. When I bought these shoes, I can remember seeing this little part here. And I can't really, you can't really, you can probably see it there in the camera, just there. There's a little, almost like a neck. Now... I never really noticed it till like a couple of weeks back. I put the shoe on and I caught something in my finger. What's basically happened is the for so it's still solid. You know, it kind of moves a little bit, but it has cracked from here to here. So just this corner has kind of broken a little bit. Now I contacted Mavic, and at this moment in time, it's an ongoing. Um, conversation. Mavic are going to actually replace these shoes with a brand new pair. Um, I don't think that Mavic have stock at the moment of this shoe, probably this size, uh, till July they say. So, but it's all been confirmed. Basically what I have to do now is, is destroy this shoe. So Mavic say to cut uh, a section, so I'm probably going to cut here. Or maybe even here. I, I don't know. I don't know where I'm going to cut. 
but I have to cut this section probably on both uh, shoes and then send them a picture and once they've got it uh, they'll just send the new shoes once the new shoes come they'll ship them out to me and I'll have a new pair of shoes uh, but as I say that's the only damage and I did notice it when, when I got the shoe um, I mean the shoe works fine it's perfectly it's a perfectly work, workable shoe with that little bit up here um, but that's I'm probably going to have to cut these soon um, can a Mavic have got in touch uh, all they need is proof of the cut, the destruction of these shoes. Which is, it's kind of barbaric to really destroy just a really, like a really good shoe. It's a shame. But yeah, these are these are my shoes. These are the ones that I'm, I'm wearing at the moment. Not the comfiest shoe, but then it's, technically it's not really a comfort shoe. It's a, it's an out and out sports shoe. It's meant to be, you know, it is comfortable uh, to a certain extent, but it's not like a, it's a bit like a Ferrari sports car. You know, it's not meant to be like a nice ride, like a, a Bentley Continental or some kind of big, kind of limousine style where the ride's really comfort and the seats are comfy. This is like a sports car. Um, my Shimano's that I still wear are like a, a family sedan, so it's <laughs> that's the kind of difference between the two. Obviously, price point between the two is just phenomenal. But as I say, I did get these on the the, the sale on um, Sigma Sports, but they are a really impressive shoe. But anyway, that is the shoes that I wear. So, peace out, folks, and I'll see you next time. Bye.